Hey there, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, Tuesday night. Kind of in, uh, interesting out here. We got uh, some interesting earthquake activity out in the Gorda Ridges out here. This is a divergent boundary off of the Oregon coast, uh, just shy of the Cascadia subduction zone with a 5.7 earthquake coming in right now. Uh, this obviously coming into the live seismograph stations here across the West Coast, including Petrolia, Mount St. Helens, and also the Barrett Station down in Southern California. So 5.7 earthquake coming in. Uh, I'm down here in Northern California. I did not feel it. I'm sure some of the folks potentially up here, maybe in Southern Oregon, felt it. Uh, let's see what we got as far as the activity uh, goes. Doesn't look like any, anyone's reported it yet. As far as any tsunami, probably not going to happen from that type of uh, earthquake and that uh, zone, but uh, that's an interesting earthquake. It's been quite a while there since we've seen any large scale activity like that. I mean, that's a decent earthquake out here in the Gorda Ridges. And that is just off the plate boundary here. You can see the new seafloor uh, spreading out here over time. That potentially right there could add some further strain out here against the Cascadia subduction zone itself. It would make sense, right? Since the uh, pressure would be coming from this area. Uh, again, 5.7 earthquake coming in off the northern California, southern Oregon coast into the Gorda Ridges. Um, let's see if they've reviewed this earthquake yet or not. It has been reviewed. Historical data out here shows some small earthquakes out uh, here between 4.5 and 5.0, but this is the largest I've seen in a little while, specifically out here on this segment of the uh, Gorda Ridges, just around the Gorda Plate. This whole plate here is called the Juan de Fuca, but there's actually three separate small microplates here with the Gorda Plate being the small one, uh, Juan de Fuca in the middle, and the Explorer Plate up north. So, interesting activity. Uh, we, earlier, we did have some movement here with a 3.0 coming in just shy here of this area, but on the opposite side. So things are getting interesting down here across this area in terms of divergent activity. A lot of uh, a potential separation going on here. We'll keep an eye on the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, this earthquake comes following a 6.4. Originally, uh, I think they uh, had it up at around 6.7, but they downgraded it slightly. So we'll cover this and more a little bit later on, folks. Uh, we'll take a look at earthquake activity around Mount St. Helens, but for now, a 5.7 earthquake coming in off the Oregon coast. Looks like one person reported feeling it. Uh, it's very possible that maybe some folks around the Smith River, um, the um, Brookings, Oregon area may have felt that as well. We'll have to uh, check back on that for any reports. If you happen to feel it, uh, let me know in the comments below. But for now, 5.7 off the Oregon coastline, and no doubt that uh, P wave showing up pretty nicely there across the uh, seismographs. We'll catch you guys back here in a little bit for the uh, nightly update. 